What's by This is Jaden, and welcome back to a new reaction video. And today I'll be reacting to The Sarah Jane Adventures Season 3, Episode 9, Mona Lisa's Revenge, Part 1. So, yeah, we were watching Mona Lisa's Revenge, Part 1. And, um, uh, okay, I don't know what it's going to be about. Mona Lisa is a painting. I don't know why the painting is going to get revenge, but, um,. But yeah, let, you know, let's go ahead and, and watch Molly's Revenge. Let's see if it's, uh, what did I say about last step? I think I said last story. I, I enjoyed it. It's not as much as the other ones. Um, and the only reason why I enjoyed it so much was because of that one dude. Um, but let's see if this story will be better than last story. Um, let's see. So, yeah. I uh, was about to do the intro. Um, anyway, let's go ahead. I mean, the outro. Let's go ahead and watch Molly's Revenge Part 1 and full reactions on Patreon. I don't know how you do that. You've either got it or you have This guy, he's a really good drawer. Is it something you can learn? But surely it's a matter of biomechanical transference of what the eye sees to paper. In the end, it all comes down to geometry. You see, there's your problem, Luke. You work up here, you're all science and logic and spocky stuff like that, but you can't break art down into maths. Everything comes down to maths. See, not art. Art is in the soul. You don't think it, you feel it. Indeed, Mr. Harding. I never thought I would see the day when she came into my care. The Mona Lisa? So, so beautiful. No one else could have achieved this. The years of dedicated planning. No one would have been man enough. The Mona Lisa, here in the UK. And all thanks really? to Really? You won first prize. <laughs> now, where are you been? It's the Mona Lisa. Wait, 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 wait. As much as I appreciate the adulation and missing double mass tomorrow, there's been a mistake. I never put my work into any competition. Someone did. Oh, I wonder who. Was it Luke? They were looking for the country's most promising young artist. And you really are good, Clyde. Brilliant. I knew you'd never put yourself forward. Yeah, but it's not good for the image, is it? Some nerdy competition. I've got a text, Mum. How many times? No mobiles in the classroom or at the gallery tomorrow. Oh. Their rules, not mine. Huh. Something over with that Mona Lisa. Are they gonna... <laughs> wow. Okay. Is this like all the new stuff they have with Max? Because I've never been able to skip the intros before. I always had to skip it using this. I think like I'm watching it on Max. They got rid of HBO. Now it's just Max. Oh. But I'm able to like skip intros and stuff. I usually skip Look intros. At the state of this place. <gasps> yeah, I, I know, but I thought I told you to tidy it. I will. Just listen. When? And you can forget any other plans you had for this evening because you're blitzing this place. And don't think K9's going to zap all this rubbish. He's out of bounds till it's done. I'm so disappointed Ooh. in you. What? Is your, what? I don't know what you want. <laughs> you say you're trying to give me a normal life, but when I act Ooh. like a real teenager, you want me to be perfect. Not her being disappointed because the, the room is dirty. You just gotta tell him to clean his room. I wouldn't want my parents to tell me they're disappointed in me because my room's dirty. Sorry, like so am I. Careful, Clyde. Even star pupils need to watch where they're going. Sir? So how are you feeling? Um, nervous? Uh, weirded out. I mean, teachers are never this friendly. You see, diligence has its rewards. Me? Or Lisa? <laughs> I really don't understand. Why is the Mona Lisa so special? I have no idea. It's just brown. Maybe when you see the real thing, you'll understand. I don't really <coughs> get art. Yeah, well, it's an art gallery. Oh, uh, this is uh, my assistant, Miss Trapp. Now, you really are so gifted, Clyde. Cheers. As soon as I saw you, I don't trust her. And it wasn't I don't trust course, her. But if it had been, you definitely have won. <laughs> what well, you did, so <laughs> it's all turned out for the best. So far, there's no conflict. So, I mean, we have the, seen the painting move, but that so far, that's all we've seen. Big day for all of us. <laughs> Clyde, follow me. Who said that? Wow. That's what she actually looks like. Well, now there's a first. So let's try this for another. <gasps> oh, wait. I Are you choking her? I don't know where you get your inspiration. <laughs> Please. They're some tarot blasters, aren't they? Well spotted. That's why you didn't want Mum to know. Yeah. Oh, and don't tell her I've been drawing K9 either. Hey, you can get us in, you can get us in oh, trouble, Clyde. Sort of stuff down. I thought 
people would laugh at me. You mean, you thought drawing wasn't cool? For over 500 years, the Mona Lisa's beauty has remained undimmed. She has been gazed upon by millions in her Paris home. Now, she is here. It's gonna be something Feast creepy. Your eyes and lose your hearts. I give you the Mona Lisa. I knew it's gonna be her. Look, oh, they did her dirty with she that picture. What? <laughs> wow. It's Luke. But Luke has perfect health. That is how he was made by the Bane. Yes, I know the perfect human being. But nothing stays perfect forever, does it? I'm sorry, I'm not sure that I understand. Luke isn't ill. He's growing up. I believe it is a normal part of breeding patterns in most species. Yes, I know. And I've tried so hard to make Luke's life as normal as possible. Yes, what is it, Luke? Uh, I need the toilet. Me too, son. Busting. And me. Okay, but be quick. Sure. And then straight to the coach. Nice one, Luke. What? Good cover story. No, I really need the loo. Oh, well. Like Dad says, be quick. <laughs> As the Mona Lisa was about to be unveiled for a party of students from Parkvale Comprehensive in Ealing. What? Parkvale pupil Clyde Langer won a first prize in the gallery's Artists of the Future competition. This is Lisa Mazimba. Did you want to be there for the him or something? Gallery. And Luke must have been there too. Luke's not answering. The gallery prohibits the use of mobile telephones, but I'm accessing information from the Metropolitan Police computer system that you may find of interest. What exactly am I looking at? Oh. This is a crime scene photograph of the Mona Lisa. Mr. Smith, that isn't the Mona Lisa. My infrared analysis confirms the brushstroke patterns of Leonardo da Vinci. <sighs> this is the Mona Lisa. But that's the but it can't be. Mona Lisa. Phyllis Trump, personal assistant to the gallery's curator. Her most detailed what? personal profile can be found on peapodsolids.com. Oh. I can read a map. I was in the Cubs. Well, until they kicked me out, but you don't want to hear about that. Clyde? Yes, I know. My picture would look great in your lounge. Just get your dad to make me What's wrong with his picture? I don't know what you're painting, Clyde. I want to know what happened to the gun that was in it. Oh! I see his gun. So, we can just Are take guns like that? Okay, so I gave them names. Can we move on now? What matters is... What are you doing here? The police are conducting an investigation. They don't need a bunch of school children roaming around disturbing evidence. Yeah, well, it isn't just your precious Mona Lisa that's been stolen now, is it? One of the guns in Clyde's painting has vanished. Oh, well, why don't you look after the rest of the kids and I'll see what I can do? In my line of work, you get a knack for opening closed doors. You sure? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mrs. Taylor, kids, come on. Quickly, move. Phone's away. Are you chewing? No, sir. Put your phones away, please. Who are you? And I thought you were supposed to be an art expert. I am the Mona Lisa. Is the accent accurate? No, but really. Yeah, really. You can't fake this kind of class. You can't be the Mona Lisa. You have to be some sort of alien manifestation. Ooh. And why is that then? Because on Earth, women in paintings don't just jump out their frames. And Nick Gunn's why she keep doing that? Painting. Do you know how long it took me to paint? Oh, because she did it. Okay. Target practice. Run for it. <laughs> but she can't be the Mona Lisa. I mean, there's no way. Unless in the Louvre. Actually, every time you came, twenty seconds. That's all anyone gets to see me. And then move along, see who play. <coughs> see who play. Yes, I can see how you got the job here, Harders. <laughs> and that's why I need you. You know every brush stroke in this place. Well, what does he look like, your brother? I've never seen him, so I haven't got a clue. What? But he'll have been painted around the same time as me. But what I think he is, if he was painted at the same time as you, this has to be him. Has to be. Not only a contemporary of Leonardo, but a neighbor in Florence. Oh, him? He's not much of a looker, is he? Giuseppe di Cattivo, 1450 to 1518. Whose work is often compared to his more famous contemporary, Hieronymus Bosch. Who would have thought a painting would have such good hearing, Mona Lisa? 
But then Leonardo was such a stickler for detail. Hmm. On the subject of detail, mind filling in the obvious blank? My name is Sarah Jane Smith, and that is a Santaran blast. Did you mind telling me where you got it? Ooh. Well, I just took it from the painting that lad Clyde did, because I thought it looked a little bit flat. <coughs> At least not till now. <laughs> Lisa, now. Ooh, I might think about it. Depends if you stay out of my way. Sarah Jane Smith. She reminds me of, she's acting like somebody Sarah I've Jane. seen before. Her. Where do I know that name? Am I thinking about, uh, oh. I believe I forgot oh. her name. That's Sarah Jane. Seems like no one wants you around, Sazza. Not even your son. What's going on? Well, give me a second, and I'll put you in the picture. Oh, what picture? That's mine. What picture? There we go, Donna. She reminds me of Donna. Forever. Wow. Okay. So that's the end of. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, what if the other paintings? Oh no. Mm, but we'll see. But that was the end of Mona Lisa's Revenge Part One. <clears throat> I've enjoyed it so far. This was a good uh, beginning to the story. Um, obviously, next episode we'll see the end. But um, I've I've enjoyed the concept. I really enjoy the. I really enjoy it. So maybe we'll get other people coming out of the paintings. Maybe we'll just see uh, her brother, which I don't know what that growling is. I don't know. Um, maybe Clyde is gonna do some like drawing and <laughs> and defeat her by drawing, maybe. Cause this this does seem like you know a Clyde storyline. I definitely know. Like I don't know for season one, but for season two, um. They really did focus on having each character have their own story and for season three as well. Because, like, the first story was, I think. I don't know. I think first story was just, just everybody. The second story was uh, about Ronnie. The third story was about Sarah Jane. Uh, the previous story. I don't know. I think the previous story was actually about uh, nobody. The whole, like, full cast or whatever. So, so far, they've only, I think they've only done Sarah Jane and Clyde having, like, like you know, character-specific stories. And even this one isn't really, even this one's not really a Clyde-specific story. The only specific story we had was the Sarah Jane one. Um, and sorry if I sound a bit weird or if I'm coughing. <coughs> um, for YouTube, I edit them out. For Patreon, I don't edit them out because I for Patreon, I just, you know, put it all together and, uh, uh, you know, upload it. So, sorry, you're going to hear some coughing. Um... I'm recovering from being sick. <clears throat> See, uh, and then, um, but yeah, the only one that's that really been a character specific story to me was, uh, was, yeah, R uh, Ronnie's and Sarah Jane's. Um, maybe Luke, maybe Luke's will be next one. But we're almost done with season three. We have three more episodes left of season three. Um, so yeah, but this story, this story has been pretty good so far. So I'm excited, better than last story. I think, I think, I mean, last story, I will say last story was good. I just think it was my least favorite, like out of all the seasons I've watched so far. I think last story has been my least favorite. I, I don't, I don't know why. It's, it's nothing to do with the actual story itself. It's just, it's just, I don't like it. It's just that, yeah, I just don't, I just like the writing was good. Like everything was good about it, except for the over like i just don't like the overall concept of it i guess that's what i'm saying like i don't like the concept of it um like the only the thing that made the story good was that guy's acting because i really liked uh how he portrayed his character it was the the father or whatever but anyway let's go ahead and i'm gonna end the video here and we're gonna watch Mona Lisa's revenge part two soon and uh so yeah i want to so yeah, I want to say thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.